Do you know how things move? Motion makes a lot of things move. Cars, motorcycles, bouncing balls, and a lot more. Motion is very important in our daily lives. From the moment we woke up, doing household chores, and even in answering our modules until we go to sleep. All those things is connected with forces and motion. Motion is the changing of position or location because of the force of life. Come on, let us discover more about forces and motion! Force is a push or pull acting on an object that causes a motion. If I push the chair, I am applying a force on it. Observe that girl playing a ball. When she kicks the ball, it moves and continues accelerating until it stops. But when she kicks it again towards the person and that person makes it stop, the ball will stop. And when the girl kicks the ball towards the person, and that person kick the ball to another direction, the ball changes its direction. Therefore, force can make an object move, stop, and change its direction. There are six types of contact forces which act on an object when in contact with another. Normal force, applied force, frictional force, tension force, spring force, and resisting force. Talking about force, is inertia considered as a force? Well, inertia is not actually considered as a force. It is a property that all things have because of its mass. The greater the mass, the greater the inertia of that object. Pushing a toy car is easy, but what if you try pushing a real one? It takes a lot of effort since the friction between the car and the floor is more intense compared to the toy car. Friction happens when objects rub against one another. The heavier the object, the stronger the force of friction. Forces and motions are everywhere. It can be observed in our daily lives, from the simple household chores up to the complex one. Motion is caused by the forces supplied to an object. If you push or pull an object, it will cause motion depending on the magnitude of forces supplied. Motion makes a lot of things move. The question is, what will happen to us if there is no forces and motion?